The meeting is being recorded. Hi. You know, 42% of the United States residents gained 29 pounds during COVID. Oh my gosh. Hi, I'm Trish Gleason. And today we have with us Mr. Bill Wiedemann. He's from San Francisco. Uh, he's a specialist in red white therapy, red light therapy, and he's a developer of this product for many, many, many years. And we're happy to have you with us here today to learn how we can shrink our fat cells. Welcome, Mr. Wiedemann. Thank you very much, Trish. It's always happy to see you and happy to help out your listeners and your viewers. So, Great. Well, uh, let, let me, I did a little research and let me read something that I found out from the government website, okay? According to the U.S. National Library of Medicine, it's called, it's actually clinicaltrials.gov, okay? So that seems like a credible place to get some information because I luckily did not gain the 29 pounds, but I have plenty of fat cells because I found out that all the fat cells you're going to get, you get them before age 20. And even though over the years, you may have some that die off, you're still going to get them back. And they landed onto your body wherever they wanted to. Do you think that's true? Yeah, it's, um, it's, a, it's a good way to start. And it just means that then what you can do is you can control the size of them. And uh, you can control how large they get and how small they get. And when they, just like your hair, your hair grows. And then eventually, you know, people think it's just going to keep growing. Well, the reason it doesn't get forever long is that the hair cell falls out and is replaced. So similar thing with your fat cells is your, your body uses them to, to keep you alive. It's a tough job keeping us alive with all the things that we do. And yeah. your body uses the fat cells to store energy and store nutrition. So, Okay. So, uh, well, let me finish up and let, read what the clinicaltrials.gov says. It says, so I asked it, you know, can fat cells be shrunk down, right, with, light, with red light therapy? So they said, yes, it's called lipolysis or something like that. And in your uh, sub, whatever, fat cells, it's a non-surgical way to promote weight loss and body contouring, and it can be done with red light therapy. So, wow, that's a great, wow. that is a great, very concise introduction. What we're doing with these kind of systems, and there's many companies that make these systems. We're just one of the newest and most progressive um, companies in the space. We've been doing it for a number of years now, is we're really taking a portion of the sun. Uh, we are here and we're healthy and successful because our ancestors uh, learned how to use the sun. Their bodies learned how to use the sun. And so what we're doing here is we're just taking this red light. In fact, I'll just go ahead and turn it on now and you can see. So we take the red light that comes out of all these pads. There are eight pads in the system to wrap around the body mm -hmm. and just a portion of the sun. And it tells the fat cells to liberate their energy. So you can think of the fat cells as kind of like a bunch of grapes, if you will. You have grapes out in the sun. I should have a little grape crop here, shouldn't I? The grapes out in the sun, they get hit by the sunlight and they turn into raisins. Well, a similar thing in simplistic form is what's happening with your fat cells in your body. When you get the sun irradiated onto your skin, uh, your fat cells membranes become permeable and then that liquid leaks out and it's available for you to use for energy. So it's a very natural process. All we're doing is we're taking those wavelengths of the sun and putting them and wrapping them around the body where the fat tends to tends to collect. So, so you're saying that these when the the, the light your red light gets on into our uh, cells, the fat will come out of the cells and goes into our lymphatic system, or how does that work? Yeah, it goes in through our lymphatic system and goes to our blood system. So the capillaries will take it to the muscles, will take it to the blood cell, blood, the veins and the arteries will take it to the uh, brain. And so it's a very natural process. If you want to go back to, you know, thousands of years ago, you know, people would wake up, go out in the sun and they have to, you know, plant crops and, and harvest crops and run away from animals and chase animals. And this is the way their, their body got the energy is from the, from the fat that was stored. And uh, so the, the, the membrane of the fat cell, think of it like a little grape, the membrane of the fat cell becomes permeable and that energy is then leaked out to the body to be used. If you don't use that energy, 
we have a very good system. If we don't use that energy that, that leaks out, then our fat cells reabsorb it and save it for next time, so. Okay. So when it leaks out though, and it gets into our lymphatic system, the, but the red light encourages it to go into the lymphatic system so we don't conserve it? Yeah, that's a, that's a good way to think of it. And so what they do after you irradiate someone with the red light is very similar to being, again, being out in the sun is, you know, you go through uh, some kind of exercise. Um, and so what they do in these clinics is they put them on a vibration plate. You know, you hold on and it shakes for a while and that uh, metabolizes that energy and moves it to your liver and then your liver processes it, processes oh. it out. People typically lose about a pound of fat in one session. It's a 20 minute session on the red light, 10 minutes on the vibration plate, and they lose about one pound of fat. We're not talking about water weight loss here. You know, they're not sweating. This thing okay. does not make you so warm that you sweat. It actually is the therapy from the light. Okay, wow. How long has this been going on here? What's that? How long have, clin well, first of all, how many clinics that you know of are doing it in the nation? Oh, there's more than 2,000 clinics doing this. So you can look up red light therapy uh, and you can find a clinic. You can look up, uh, you know, body conjuring. You can find a clinic. There's a lot of um, a lot of clinics out there doing it all over the United States. I mean, you can contact Trish. You can get in touch with me and I can tell you where there are ones. They're, they're even being put on cruise ships and things like that. So it's a very helpful process. Again, it's natural. It's what happens when you go out in the sun. But you know, people aren't going to take all their clothes off and go out in the sun, you know, right. on a regular basis. And in parts of the world, you can't do that. So this is, is helpful. People you have a very natural uplifting feeling when they, when they get out of it. And, and it becomes a, not only for, for body contouring, but also for, you know, recovery from uh, weight training for inflammation, pain and inflammation. A lot of the professional sports teams have red light therapy rooms and have these kind of wraps you can find different products on Amazon that do these things. The, the unfortunate thing about red light is that 95% of the products that are out there, frankly, don't do anything. Um, you know, they don't have enough power. They don't have the lights close enough together to do anything. You can think of it this way. If I just had light right here and right here that were two inches apart, everybody can tell that's not going to work. Okay. Or if I don't have enough power. So we put them close enough together with enough power. So it penetrates in and hits all the fat cells. It's all the muscle, all the tissue. Right. So, you know, you'd mentioned the sun. Well, we know it's not good to go lay in the sun. So this particular light is not harmful to our, our body, whereas I know the no, sun is. Yeah. That's a great question. Uh, NASA isolated these wavelengths about 40 years ago. They learned that when they, well, they, they theorized that, hey, we can't put people up at the International Space Station without growing food. So they... They made some food growing systems and they figured out how to make very low power lights, but very efficient. So they made these LED lights. They were the first, first, first people to do it. Had to be very low cost, very low weight and use hardly any energy. And so they did that and they started growing plants at the International Space Station. And they noticed that when the astronauts were tending to it, you could, you know, if you're weightless and you're bouncing around, you get a lot of cuts on your hands and things. You know, we all mm -hmm. even get cuts mm -hmm. on our hands, right? They noticed when they were tending to the plants that the wounds healed faster. And so they started doing more research and now red lights used throughout aesthetics. You know, if you go in to get your uh, face at an esthetician or dermatologist or plastic surgeon, they'll put you under red light because it feeds your skin naturally from the inside with energy. And then of course, people discover that it also treats the, uh, treats the fat cells and makes the energy available to you. So this has been going on a long time, this the concept of, reducing your fat cells. It's just right. most it's of us just, haven't heard about it say, or what's, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say that there's clinics out there doing this for at least 10 years. Wow. Um, I, and I did, ladies and gentlemen, look this up too. There's a word called ADIPO, adipocycles, something like that. And okay. sure enough, that is, the term means changing the size of a fat cell. Wow. So, so you can make it smaller. That's I'm gonna exciting. have to rewatch this, this uh, video you're taking. I'm, I'm even learning some things here, it's great. A-D-I-P-O-C-Y-L-E-S. And that sure wow. enough is, 
definition of shrinking your fat cells. I've watched some of your other videos and you always do a good job of doing the research and providing real data. So people I'm sure appreciate it. Ah, oh, thank you. So um, let's see, uh, I did look up, what is this? Um, they call it ATP energy. And apparently, go ahead, you, you, you can talk about yeah. that. It's adenosine triphosphate. And uh, what that does is it goes into your cell. You know, the cells are really small, but I'm just gonna show a picture like this with my hand, okay? On the inside of the cell, there's a lot of mitochondria. You may have heard of the term mitochondria. And they're just like little hamsters in the hamster wheel. They go around and they process all the fats and the sugars and they make what's called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. And that is the octane that every single thing in our body runs off because I'm sitting here moving, I'm talking, my brain's working. It's all ATP that allows me to do that. That's made by the mitochondria inside of all the cells. Mm -hmm. And uh, that ATP comes from the mitochondria, as I said. Well, light stimulates the mitochondria. That's why when we go out in the sun, we wake up in the morning, we have light hit our body. You were indicating earlier that we want to be careful what wavelengths of light there are wavelengths in the sun that can be harmful. I think everybody knows about sunburn, uh, but those wavelengths also create vitamin D3. Here, what we're doing is we're only putting the helpful wavelengths in here because it's been isolated exactly what the helpful wavelengths are that stimulate the mitochondria to process the fats and sugars and make ATP. So the skin cells can grow faster. Here's some of our skin products here. Uh, the dome here arcs over your face. The estheticians use this handhelds and things like that. But, well, um, we'll talk about those in just a minute. For the people yeah. who only want to hear about shrinking up our uh, cells, right. our fat cells, we'll, we'll get on with this segment and then we'll go into that if you don't mind. Right, right, right. So let me finish up that area about the shrinking of this, the, the fat cells, which I am definitely going to be doing this. You say that it's a, they have a few clinics in Florida, which I will get that information because I'm going to have to go. They have right. a camp in St. Augustine, Florida right now, right? Yeah, there's i uh, I'm going to guess there's probably a hundred clinics in Florida. I mean, okay. I personally know, I don't know of all of them because we have people that, that take this product and private label it, you know, you put your name on it and things. So many companies take it and private label and get it out. I don't know where every single customer is, but I, ha I know of a handful okay. and it's pretty easy to search online. Because you're just educating us today. That's you're you're the manufacturer, you're the designer, you're the developer, you're educating us today, and we appreciate that. Right. I'm so, just giving you the, how it works and so on. Mm -hmm. So I just try to make it from a layman's point of view what happens when your your cells shrink. So I looked it up and see if I'm right in the layman's view. It, it online it says um, you take the LED light, light emitting that diode. And, and right. that increases the energy in your cells, okay? Your right. fat cells. So then your fat cells absorb the electromagnetic energy, right. and that makes your fat cells rejuvenate, which encourages the fat in the cells to move outside of the cells and go into your lymphatic system. Yeah, that's certainly part of it. The other uh, way to say it is, is, and this is actually what happens also, is the fat cell membrane, you know, the outside of the fat cell that holds all the energy on the inside becomes more permeable. So it's like, it turns into like a little piece of cheesecloth for some people say eight hours, some people say 16, some people say 18, let's just say for 12 hours or so. So the fat cells membrane becomes permeable and that energy is now available to the rest of our body. So by having, um, uh, having that permeable membrane, the fat cell energy leaks out and now we can, um, that over time, you know, one treatment, you're going to lose about a pound of fat. And then you lose a pound, a pound every treatment, you do like two treatments a week. And, you know, in six weeks or so, you've lost 20 pounds of fat. As I said earlier, you're not losing water weight. In fact, right. you're encouraged to drink water. You're actually losing the fat, the fat. So the fat cells get smaller. Okay. So one last thing about, unless you have something about the fat cells, how would we know if a light is uh, strong enough or power, powerful enough to get the job done because you say oh, there's a, a lot of companies yeah. that aren't good. yeah so it should the light should get a little bit warm that's the proper brightness these i've turned down so it doesn't saturate the camera i mean if i turn them all the way up you can see i mean they're very powerful mm -hmm. and you want to have the, the light you can test these products by just holding your finger up and if it shines through your finger that's the easy way 
probably can't see that on here shining through my fingernail. But uh, if it shines through your finger, you have enough power. And I was saying earlier, there's so many of them that don't have enough power um, right. to, to accomplish the results. So. Right. Okay, well, unless you have something else to say about the uh, fat cells, we're going to end this segment, but we're going to continue on with our interview because I have many other questions regarding other uh, situations that red light therapy can benefit us. Great. So, do you have anything else about this? this oh, cell? I think, uh, I mean, you had all kinds of information. So I had to kind of like sit back and, and uh, give my information. You had it all, you had it all researched. So I really appreciate it. It made it very easy. Okay, well. Thank you. So now the red light therapy does a lot more for us. Uh, and, I, and I want you to explain what the green is up there, the pink and uh, what else you've got there. Yeah. So thanks, Trish. So um, these are some of the products that we've been shipping for five years now. And uh, this is products for skin rejuvenation. And uh, they're, the different lights do different things. You know, we were talking earlier about how the different wavelengths of the red light, red and infrared, I'm just gonna turn that off. The wavelengths of red and infrared cause the fat cells to give up their energy and therefore become smaller, very much like how a grape gets smaller and turns into a raisin from the, the red light, the, from the sun hitting it. So uh, these products here are not really designated for fat loss. The products that we have here, these are products that have the right wavelengths to accomplish other things in the skin. This product here is a facial dome and we're using a red light that happens to be 660 nanometers. And what that does is that does skin rejuvenation. It encourages the cells inside the skin to give off this uh, denosin triphosphate, ATP, which is the octane for everything in our body. It's, it's the energy that we all use to do all the functions that we're doing. And uh, that, uh, that this light encourages your skin cells to do that. So now you're gonna turn over your skin cells faster. As you get older, um, uh, I'm in 65, I just turned 65 this year. My skin cells turn over in about every six weeks or so. A young baby turns over like in a week. That's why their skin feels so soft. What this red light's gonna do is it's gonna encourage your skin cells to turn over faster. So they, you get newer skin cells up because we're stimulating the cells. We're making ATP. That's the energy that we use to make the skin cells. So it just keeps, a faster turnover skin cells. Essentially, it's making your skin grow young again. That's red. Mm -hmm. so I was just looking at my notes about that ATP. That's so important because what does that do? Does that uh, put more collagen into your skin or the, the Absolutely process? Absolutely right. So your collagen cells and your elastin cells, so all of these wrinkles that can tend to develop as we get older, um, those are all... Uh, you just, you know, your, your collagen and elastin is not as strong and stretchy as it was, but by what you're, what you're indicating is that energy makes those collagen and elastin cells um, become more uh, pliable and therefore the wrinkles don't show up. We, we get rid of the fine lines and wrinkles. The other colors actually do other things. We do have a red hand held up here to get my fingering system working, the red hand held, and that's going to do the same thing. It's exactly the same wavelength. So that's for spot treatments. People use that to make scars smoother or something, you know, different spot treatments like that with the red. Or acne, would that work for acne? acne? Uh, the, yeah, so for acne, uh, blue actually tends to kill acne bacteria. So that's why we have the blue available. You have to have a particular wavelength of all these things to make the function that you want to get. So the red is uh, 660 nanometers for skin rejuvenation. The green is 520 nanometers. And what the green does is it gets rid of the age spots. As Caucasians, we tend to get you know, dark spots on our skin. It's called melasma, that's the term of it. Um, and uh, infrared light can tend to aggravate that. But by green light, it tells the melanin in our skin to say normalize so that we get end up with a very uniform color on our skin. We don't have those dark spots on our skin. That's what the green is for. But how long would you have to sit under that green light? to yeah those are boy you always have the spot on questions at the right time i love it so it makes it easy talking to you so the green is uh, all of these handheld lights stay on for 90 seconds and they automatically turn off so you just while you're watching tv you just lay it on your hand if you want to do this part and you just turn it on in 90 seconds it turns off you hit the button again and move it to another space you're just moving it along to different how places often, like uh, every other day or how um, often you know 
I, I've got mine pretty much under control, so I don't yeah, do it every day, good. but I know people that, that started out and they did it every day. So we're just doing 90 seconds every day. And in a matter of a couple of weeks, you know, you can visibly see the difference. You can look at a lot of people have before and after pictures on their website, but you don't have to worry about it with that handheld because like one of my sisters, I have three sisters, what she did is she just took the handheld and put it right here. And after 10 days of using it 90 seconds at a time, you could see where it was all smooth white right here on her wrist instead of spots and over here were spots and over there were spots. So no need for a before and after picture. It's all in one, right? Right. Okay. That's amazing. Uh, I have a quick story to tell about the uh, the one point to your red light therapy, the, the one for your face and body on the uh, behind you. Can you point to that to show everybody which one I'm talking about? I'm sorry. What was that again, Trish? Can you point to your, uh, the, the big? Oh, yeah. Let me just yeah. turn that one no, off. That's the one yeah. down here. Yeah. Okay. So what you do is you put that, I actually ordered one a couple of years ago. So it's got, all those little lights are inside of there and you put over your face or on your body, wherever. And you can right. do it up to 15 minutes when you do it, right? Yeah, you can do five minutes and hits the, the recommended amount of energy for the skin. And you'll see a lot of other products say like, oh, we got to be 30 minutes. And right. you, know, you have to calculate the amount of energy, but you can see it's pretty much saturating the camera. And if I put my hand in here, look how bright the red is. It's making it really bright. And I can, when I put my hand in here, I can feel the energy hitting my skin. It's not the heat. Yeah, it feels it's good. Energy so, hitting my skin, so. Just to show you how it works, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of weeks ago, I was going to Cabo. And I looked in the mirror and I said, you're as white as a snowball. <laughs> so I wasn't going to go to the beach white. So I, in 20 years, I haven't gone to a tanning bed. 30 years. But I thought well, that's good to because that's a har that's a harmful raise for your skin. So you don't want to do that. I know, but I just thought I'd do it once just to get a little bit of color. <laughs> it's okay to do it occasionally. <laughs> By the way, this red light is not only a prophylactic for sunburn, mm -hmm. but also heals sunburn. So right. the people that use the red light and want to get the most benefit, let me turn it off so it's not saturated the camera. Yeah. So anyway, so the next, uh, don't forget what you're saying too, but the next day after I go to the tanning bed, you know, I go there, I say, oh, give me the big one, right? The next day I'm leaving. Well, after I got out of there, my face was beet red. I mean, didn't look right, right? Beet red. It didn't go away. The next, all night long, I actually had to put ice on it. I'm beet red with like that kind of white around my eyes from wearing those goggles. It was terrible. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to go. What did I do? Yeah, it, I mean, it looks horrible. So I went right home and Three times I put that red light on there, and do you won't believe it, but the next day, you know how you normally appeal and everything? Nope. I yeah, looked it's, amazing, and it was pretty much gone. Yeah, because it what you me. did is you created an injury to your skin by the sunburn, if you will, from the tanning bed. Uh, you created an injury to your skin, and so your skin is going to say, I've got a problem here. Remember, your skin's job is to keep everything out and keep mm -hmm. everything in. So mm -hmm. when you create an injury, it says, oh, my gosh, I got to keep this person alive. By the way, if you ever get a trivia question, what's the biggest organ in your body? It's your skin. So uh, so you have that uh, injury that you've created to your skin and it's sending stem cells there and trying to recover it, all these things. So then you hit it with the red light and, the, and it becomes a, a soothing thing for the skin, it makes the recovery mm -hmm. half twice as fast. So if it was going to take three days to recover, now you recover in a day. And it makes the result better because you, you've nourished those skin cells right when they're damaged. All the stem cells are there. You nourish it. Boom, you get a quicker recovery and a better recovery. So in the aesthetics or plastic surgeons or dermatologist's office, they create this micro injury either with a laser or a rolling needle system or, I mean, just a, a buff pad thing. They can scrub it and create a micro injury. You mean and like then, microdermabrasion? Uh, microdermabrasion? Well, Microneedling? Well, sorry, micro I had somebody come by. Sorry, micro, for example, micro needling or, my, or derm yeah. abrasion, if you do that yeah. before, it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, any of those things that create this micro injury, I mean, you can even think of just taking a washcloth and scrubbing it really hard with a washcloth and you, you go, oh, my gosh, my skin's tingling because it's it, you, you took some of the outer layer off and it made it recover. Then you hit it with the red light and you'll notice a very quick improvement in the skin and a better result. So 
you don't need to have any of these elaborate things, although there's, there's things that do a stronger micro injury with the needle stamps and all kinds of things, lasers and all kinds of things. But the red light is not, is not a laser. It's the same wavelength as a laser, but it's not damaging your skin. It's actually nourishing your skin cells. So, mm -hmm. Well, even on that government website, it called red light therapy. They call it um, LLLT. Low uh, level, low level uh, light therapy. Yeah. yeah. There's all these people have different names, PBM, photovital modulation. Oh, okay. um, you know, they're all coming up with different you know, it's kind of like the, you know, you read the acetaminophen and then somebody has a different name for it. I mean, they all have different names for these things. But. Well, you know, let's talk a little bit, not about beauty and how uh, skin tight, I mean, your, your skin, your red light therapy helps us about our uh, protecting and making our skin better. Let's talk a little bit about our health. So I read that it helps with our joints. Uh, carpal tunnel, yeah. it says it helps with relieve carpal tunnel, and Achilles tendon, and it helps um, pain management. What do you say about right. all that? You know what, that's, I'm glad you brought that up. And I'll give you some, some testimonials of people that have called up and said, Hey, does it work for this? And I'll say like, I don't know if it works for that, but let's just Google it. So pretty much anything that you can think of is helped by red light. And people say, Oh, what are the contraindications? What can I do if I'm using red light? Can I not use it on this? Remember, it's just a portion of the sun. So unless the doctor tells you or you think, wow, I'm, this condition is going to be aggravated by going out in the sun, it's probably going to be helped by going out in the sun and therefore it's going to be helped by red light. I have uh, two, there's literally an unlimited number of testimonials and people call up and say, tell people it works for this. Now I tried it on that. If any of the people that are listening have anyone who's struggling with gout, it's absolutely wonderful for gout. Um, I'm not making a medical claim. I'm just telling you what other people have said it works. And they said, hey, I had my, my gout was uncontrollable and I just take this particular pad because they already had it. They lay it on the floor, put their feet on it for five minutes a day and they were amazed and they go into their podiatrist and say, hey, how'd you control your gout? Well, I just use red light. The podiatrist is like, oh my gosh. Um, eye health, there's a lot of articles now online about uh, eyes, you know, you, you, what do I want to say, irradiating your eyes with red light. So we have people that have taken this panel and they just hold it out here at arm's length because it's so bright, you can't put it right on your eyes. And they close their eyes and they bring it in slowly and then they leave it on for five minutes. Dramatic improvement in their vision. Uh, so a lot of, there's just almost an unlimited number of studies and people discovering things for red light. Because again, it's just a portion of the sun. If you have enough power, it's helpful. If you don't have enough power, it's not going to do anything. So when we're talking about a, a carpal tunnel or gout or any of that, so what it, it's all going back to that ATP stuff we talked about, about building your energy and making it more efficient within your cells of your body. Right. Your, your, your body wants to recover, right? It wants to make things better. And if you, if you let it recover and encourage it to recover and don't do things that limit it to recover, you know, you're going to get better over time. So what the red light does is it just is, it's like an energy drink for your cells, if you will, you know, it's just, it just flows in and helps your cells in the natural process of creating energy. Wow. Well, I think you've answered so many important questions that all of us have, and we really appreciate it. And maybe so, created a lot more questions. So, yeah. uh, so if anybody, anybody has any questions, you know, clip onto the video, enter your question. And uh, uh, it's obvious to me that Trish has done all of her research to know, you know what kind of some of the things are. So touch base with her and she can answer any of those questions or research it for you, or certainly I can help. You can find uh, people like me on Facebook on red light therapy, different groups for red light therapy. There's almost, I mean, it's probably, a un, it's not an unending list, but there's a lot of groups on Facebook for just, espousing the benefits of red light therapy. So uh, you can find me on there. You can find, I know Trish is on some of them. I see her on there every once in a while. So um, uh, go ahead and ask the questions and ask people. People really wanna help. It's such a helpful thing that anybody in the industry wants to try to help everybody. So it's kind of all a collective thing, you know, of, of uh, kind of raising the level of understanding, so. Right. I did think of one more question, fortunately oh, or unfortunately. 
which, you know, for everybody listening, if we're not making any claims, if you take a scrubber and scrub your face and it starts bleeding and you, you hurt yourself, I can't help that. We're just making some suggestions on things that have helped. So, you know, always use caution. But my question is this, which I know you can't make a claim, but you could also, you could say you've heard of that. Let's say somebody has cancer or even dementia or Alzheimer's or uh, any sickness or any disability have, has, and since cellular rejuvenation is so important within our body, has, has anybody uncovered any facts that it helps those people? Yeah, so there, uh, this is where when you get to things going into the brain for dementia, Alzheimer's, um, uh, what's the other, Parkinson's, things like that, um, it's, there's always studies being done and, and new things popping up. They do have a particular wavelength for that. And there's even companies that have systems that go up your nasal cavity to get into your brain. Um, the, the wavelength that I recall, and it's easy to find these studies, you just type in red light therapy and dementia, red okay. light therapy, Alzheimer's, whatever, whatever malady you have, you can type it in. You can usually get two or three pages on it. But those are all specific wavelengths. The specific wavelength that I remember is 810 nanometers. And then they even have some things called pulsing where they turn the light on and off and somehow that stimulates the cell. I guess it's probably similar to doing a massage like this, you know, rather than just pushing. So for some reason, pulsing at particular pulse wavelengths, there's so much research being done and people trying different things because it's so natural and so helpful to, to the body processes, so. Well, I will put the email address in the notes below. If anybody has any more questions, please let us know. And unless you have something else, you have done a great job. Well, as always, I'm happy to talk with you and help out people just kind of generally understand what the benefits are in layman's terms and maybe a, a few technical terms thrown in there just to spark some, some interest, so. Well, thank you. Okay, well, we're done. Thank you for coming and have a great holiday, everybody. Trish, thank you very much for the good work always. Okay, bye-bye, thank you. Appreciate it, thank you.